In burnout and quarantines, the pandemic has created a shortage of teachers all across the country. Christy Diaz is showing us one local school district's really creative solution here by recruiting bus drivers as substitute teachers. David Avon has been driving a Fayette County school bus for the last 12 years, but this school year, once he drops off all the kids at school, he goes in with them. My name is Mr. Avon. I am a bus driver and I'm filling in as a sub. David is one of at least 13 other bus drivers who have volunteered to fill in as substitute teachers as the district faces shortages in the classroom. He says it's a little different than handling students on a bus. Well, one of the first big one is the students are now in front of you instead of behind you. <laughs> <laughs> the district has hired 120 new subs since the beginning of the school year, but says it's still not enough. You guys are also facing a crisis and a shortage. Yes, we are. But, you know, we can do this between our route. We don't want our children to miss out on anything. And we consider them our children. I did a fifth grade class, and I had three students in there that ride my bus. So immediately when I walk in, they're like, oh. That's Mr. O. Evie Campbell always wanted to be a teacher, so it's a perfect fit. Go ahead and finish the lunch and dinner, and then we'll go to the next person. Kelly Rain subbed for a PE class and saw a whole new side of her kids. So that was really fun. Um, we got to run around with pool noodles, tagging the kids. I'm like, yeah, I remember all that paper you threw on my bus. No, no not really. <laughs> and it's fun just getting to see them interact with each other, too, other than just looking through that mirror. The district trained all the volunteers so they'll be prepared no matter the classroom. I've been in the classroom five times. <laughs> How did it go? It actually went great. We are giving back and we're giving to one another and we're stronger together. In Fayette County, I'm Christy Diaz, 11 Alive News.